right, welcome to desk hack number two. As promised, I was gonna show you how to set up your workstation today to prevent back pain, neck pain, and to improve your posture, as well as more stretches to do at your desk. Now, the first thing is we'll go through is our workstation setup. So the best thing that you can work on is your chair. Okay, that's the most important thing you're gonna sit during the day is sort out your chair. Now, remember, this is just for people who are sitting. I would rather you are having a standing desk. So if you're at home or you're in the office, you'd go for a standing desk. If you can get one, it doesn't have to be expensive. Just try and have a standing desk that can click up. So therefore you can stand at least 50% of the time while you're at your workstation. This is not designed for you to sit all day, okay? The number one you know, cause in my book of back pain and disc problems is sitting down for you know, all day for your entire life, and that would cause that load problem in your back. So that's another story, but what I'm trying to work on is getting your chair correct. Now, my workstation, I use a computer a very small amount of the day. I'm mostly in the clinic treating clients or I'm in the gym rehabbing clients. So I don't need an amazingly awesome setup, okay? But for those of you who are sitting down the majority of the day or at a workstation the majority of the day, you need a really good setup as in your chair and you need a standing desk, so chair. What I want to make sure of is you have, you need the chair height for a start so your hips are never lower than your knees, okay? So you can't be like this. Now this is a problem with tall people. So the tall people p problem, I mean I'm six foot one, so I'm not that tall, but for people who are six foot seven, if they are in a normal desk and a normal chair, they'll probably find they're in this position here, which puts them in a bit of flexion, which is not great. So you really need your chair to be as high as you can. Now some chairs don't go high enough, okay? So you've got to get a chair that goes high enough that your hips on a, on a little bit of an angle, okay? You can't be down like this where you're lower, all right? And this is where people have problems in cars because they're usually sitting lower in the seat. So you've got to have the chair really high. Now, when we come back to tall people, if they're really tall, sometimes therefore the desk is too low. So just on a side note, if you're really tall, I would chalk up your desk and get a chair that goes high. So you can sit really comfortably, because guess what, if you're sitting in a position where you are either parallel or preferably hips higher than knees, your lower back is gonna be in a good position as well. Now, the next thing's the chair. This chair, you need to be bolt upright. So this, sometimes they have a little curve like that, okay? If you're sitting in a chair like at home where it has a, like a dining room chair, it has a very straight back, that's great. I don't want one that tilts backwards, okay? That goes all bendy. So if you can start doing this sort of thing, you're just gonna end up doing that, okay? Now, I don't need that for a very short period of time, but ideally, this is a little bit higher up, okay? So you can move that. If you can move this chair to upright, that's great. Now, if it's got a very big lumbar support, that's fantastic, but you've got to make sure you sit in it, okay? So you've got to have your bum right back in the chair so that lumbar support is holding your spine in neutral. You can't slouch in the chair because that's going into a c shape position, okay, which is not great for your back. You want to be in a neutral position, which is a normal lordosis. Now, there's going to be a gap here. So if you've got a chair with a gap, you need to use something like a lumbar roll to fill in the gap. So what it does is it keeps you in a neutral spine. So you put it just above your belt line, and then you lean on it and it's just propping me up, okay? Now, it also gives me the ability to keep my head back in a neutral spine, because if I don't have that, I'm gonna slouch and put my head forward, and that's where people get their neck pain from, and their down here, shoulder referred pain, is because they drop at the spine, and then they have their head forward, okay? And they sit there like this, right? So, some people say, oh, that's okay, I'll just, I'll just sit on the edge of the chair, and I'll hold myself up in neutral spine, I'm fine you won't be able to last, okay? So the back muscles are not designed for you to hold yourself up all day, even if you're super strong. You'll end up doing that for a while and then you'll start fatiguing and then going into here and you end up in that bad position and then you've got really no back support at all, which is even worse. So trying to sit up right like this, 
your fatigue and get a tight back and a sore back. So you've really got to use the back of the chair. And this goes for Swiss balls. Don't use a Swiss ball to sit at a workstation. Use a Swiss ball for rehab, okay? Use a proper chair for your workstation or standing. Um, and this lumbar roll is gonna really, really help you. So putting one of these in, getting into there, getting in the right position, in the lumbar spine and hold you up. And it makes your back muscles relax a bit. So you don't get the fatigue all day and it keeps your spine in position. So all the back is active, posturally, but at a low level, which is what you need all day. You need it at a low level. If you ever active at a high level, you're gonna fatigue. So you need a low level because you're sitting down for a period of time. So that's just the chair, right? Now, the next thing is how far away you are from the computer. Now, ideally, it's about arm's length. Now, people with glasses, eyesight um, changes, it may vary a little bit, all right? So if you've got contacts or glasses or you need to look, you know, you're short-sighted, this may vary. But in a nutshell, the screen needs to be arm lengths away, is about your focal length, okay? So I need to be, guess what, there. Now, if you notice, if I put my arms straight down and 90 degrees, my hands aren't reaching the, this table, right? So this table is not deep enough, right? So when you're here, I can touch the screen, right? So what I tend to do is like, oh, I need to be, that's not, that's not sort of close enough. So what I'll, my body will do is I'll, if I go close, then I'm too close to my screen. So I won't like that. So I'll stay at a, at a focal length, but I'll end up doing this to get my hands forward, all right? So the length of the desk is really important to make sure it doesn't force you, like your environment doesn't force you into this position here, which is the classic back, neck, headache issue, all right? Shoulders, rounded shoulders sort of thing. So look at your desk height, look at your monitor length and make sure that is all set up correctly. So you can have it at arm's length and then you can have your keyboard back here because you don't want your keyboard forward because you need your elbow sitting under your shoulder, okay? Don't have it forward because you won't be able to last like that. What you'll tend to do is put the whole shoulder forward which puts all the strain on here, okay? So let's just say I am good and I'm back into here. This keyboard needs to be back, okay, in this position here and my mouse very close. Now I suggest get a mouse pad not just to make it track properly but the mouse pad, if you stick that mouse pad down, it stops you pushing the mouse forward, all right? So it always stays on this mouse pad because you want your arm back here as well. Most people tend to sort of do this, okay? So they lean forward and they scroll up and like, oh yeah, look at that. And they'll hit the end form, they'll look at it and they'll stay like that for hours. And, oh geez, I better get out of that. But it's the hour that's gone and wrecked your neck and wrecked your lower back. But and that can be just from the mouse. So you're sort of scrolling forward. If you don't have a mouse pad, you sort of tend to go forward and tend to do this, and then, and then that's terrible. And you think you're leaning, it's okay, but it's not great positioning if you're doing it all day, all of your career, okay? So get that mouse on a mouse pad. Now, the last little thing really is the monitor height, okay? So this monitor height, if you look at me, where my eye level is, I need the top of the screen to be at the same level. Okay, so if I have this down like this, I'm looking down, okay, and I'll tend to hinge forward, and that's going to put a lot of strain here. I want to be in a neutral spine, okay. So you'll probably never have it too high, okay. If you do, you get it down to high level, but most of the time it's setting too low, and this goes for people with laptops, which are horrendous for necks. So if you're down a laptop, you're really looking down at the screen like that. And if you're a non-touch typist, okay, if like me, I can't touch type, I, I'm too old, this typing here, I have to look at my key, so I'm constantly looking forward like this. If I'm a touch typist, I can look up. But if I've got a laptop, I'm still looking down. So if you've got a laptop, plug it in, get a screen that's adjustable like this, okay, you can tilt it in all sorts of degrees, and plug it in permanently to the laptop. Okay, or you get an, uh, even better, get a plug-in keyboard because it's wider, okay, than your laptop. Your laptop, you're sort of tucked in like this. So get your laptop wider, get a plug-in mouse, 
all right? So that's your sort of, in a nutshell, the basics that you should be absolutely doing for your setup, but 50% of the time. So go to a standing desk 50% of the time. I don't think you should stand all the time, but 50% of the time at least, and so everything needs to raise up. So you imagine that whole setup needs to come up. So when you are standing, you can hold yourself in a neutral spine and you're not doing this sort of thing. So it still needs to be all in the right positions when you are standing, okay?